Grade 3 math number 60. Divide by 8. Here's our rule. Dividing by 8 means you split the number into 8 equal groups or you put 8 in each group. Either way. You can do it this way or that way. You find how many times 8 can fit into that number. Okay? So, let's look at what we've got here. We've got a word problem. Firewood is sold in bundles of 8 logs. If you have 32 logs, how many bundles can you make? So, what we're going to do is, we're going to do subtraction to find the answer. Here's our problem. 32 can be divided by 8. How many times will it be divided? We start with 32 and we take 8 away and we get 24. That's our first one. Then we take the 24 and we take away 8 and we get 16. That's the second one. We take the 16, we take away 8, and we get 8. That's the third one. And then the last one, we have 8 take away 8 is 0. And we did it 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So look, we have 4 bundles of wood. We have 8 here, we have 8 here, we have 8 here, and we have 8 here. That means we have 32 logs. 32 divided by 8 is 4. And look, 4 times 8 equals 32. That's the inverse, the opposite. Okay? So that's the subtraction method for figuring out a division answer. Okay? You just keep subtracting that number from the answer over and over and over again, and then you count how many times you subtracted. Okay, now we have 24 divided by 8. We are going to circle groups of 8. So we're going to find eight little pink dots, and we're going to put a circle around each group of eight dots. Ready? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's one group, okay? Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our second group, okay? And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's our last group. How many groups do we have? We have 1, 2, 3. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 3 times 8 equals 24. See that? Okay, now we're going to do the group method. 8 goes into 40 how many times? I wrote my eight groups, and now we're going to put a dot in each group, taking turns, until we've counted to 40. Okay? And each group gets a turn. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So now each of them has the same amount of dots in them, or little ones. So how many is that? How many does each one have? They each have five. So eight goes into 40 five times. Then we say eight times five is 40. We do our subtraction and get a remainder of zero, which is very important because we want to make sure that we don't have any left over because that means we might have been able to fit eight another time. Okay? Eight goes into 64. How many times? All right, well, let's use our number line this time. Here's 64. We've counted by eights going all the way up. Here's the 64 where we're trying to get to, and we're going to skip count and see how many times we do it. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We write the eight above the four because we're not saying eight goes into six. We're saying eight goes into 64. And by putting it on over the four, that lets everyone know we use the entire 64 and not just the six. Okay? Eight times eight is 64. We do our subtraction and get zero. See? 8 times 8 is 64. Let's look at this one. This one's going to be a little bit different, okay? 
How many times can 8 go into 88? Now normally, we take both numbers and we try to figure out if the 8 can go in there. Like this one. Can 8 fit into 6? Nope. So 8 would fit into 64. Yes. We found that on the number line. So let's, let me ask you here. Can 8 fit into an 8? Yes, it can. One time. 8 goes into 8 one time. If I had 8 dots and I wanted a group of 8, I'd have one group. See? 8 divided by 8 is 1. Now we do our multiplication. 8 times 1 is 8. We subtract it. We get 0. And now it's this one's turn to come down. See? And we put that 8 here. And we say, can 8 fit into 8? Yes, we learned that from this one. One time. 8 times 1. We did this one. Now we're going to say, is 8. We're going to do our subtraction and get 0. See? See how we did that? You want to try another one? One last one, okay? Let's try this one. How many times can 8 go into 96? Well, can 8 fit into 9? Yes, it can. How many 8s can you fit in a 9? You can fit 1, right? And then we do 8 times 1, which is 8. And now we do our subtraction. 9 take away 8 is... How many do you have left over? Do you know? You have 1 left over, because 8 plus 1 is 9, right? Now, can 8 fit into 1? No. So it's the 6's turn to come down. 8 goes into 16 how many times? Do you know? 1, 2. So we're going to put a 2 above the 6, and 8 times 2 is 16. We're going to do our subtraction and get 0. See how we did an extra step coming down because 8 could fit into 9 one time? Where over here, 8 couldn't fit into the 6, so we had to use the whole 64. We're going to be doing more division like this in the future. This is called long division, and it has remainders left over sometimes. That's this bottom number. Sometimes it's a 0, sometimes it's a 1 or a 2, or it could even be a huge number if you're dealing with big, huge long division problems. Okay? When you have remainders, a lot of times your teacher will tell you to write remainder zero. That tells you that there's none left over. And if there was a remainder of two, you'd write R2 for remainder two. You can also write it as a fraction, where that's the numerator and that's the denominator. But we'll get into that in the future. For right now, this is dividing by eight. These are the different methods. You could use subtraction. You could use circling dots. You could use filling in dots in a group. Or you could use skip counting. Okay? Keep up with the times table. Keep trying to memorize them. I'll see you next video.